Fulminated mercury is also known as mercury 2 fulminate, but what does that mean? Walter White surely knew, and soon you will too. Let's start simple. What is a bond? Simply, it is a connection between two or more atoms, and it is all dependent on electrons. This is what the charge, or oxidation state, of an atom refers to. Take calcium, which has a charge of plus 2. This means that it wants to give away two electrons to a separate atom. Fluorine, on the other hand, has a charge of negative 1, meaning that it wants to take one atom. Bonds are all about getting these charges even, and if you keep that in mind, the next part will come easy. Take potassium chloride, a bond between potassium and chlorine. Potassium has a charge of plus 1, and chlorine has a charge of negative 1. So, you only need one potassium atom and one chlorine atom to keep the charges equal. Taking a more complex one, magnesium phosphide. So, we take the name and break it down into two atoms, magnesium and phosphorus. Magnesium has a charge of plus 2, and phosphorus has a charge of negative 3. So, how do we get these even? Simple, we add more atoms. Having three magnesium atoms and two phosphorus atoms cancels out the charge perfectly. Let's see what a bond with a transition metal looks like. If we take iron and oxygen, how would they bond? Here, we run into a problem. Iron has multiple possible charges. This is where Roman numerals come in. The most common charges or oxidation states of iron are plus 2, plus 3, and plus 6, and we indicate these with Roman numerals. This is how the bonds would look. Returning back to the fulminated mercury, this is a bond between mercury and a polyatomic ion, meaning there are multiple atoms and the group of them has one charge. In this case, the ion is fulminate, a combination of carbon, nitrogen, and oxygen. It is a charge of negative one. Just like we did before, we need to balance these charges. Mercury is also a transition metal with two common charges, plus one and plus two. In this case, plus two is the one that bonds with fulminate. So, fulminated mercury would come to look like this, because we would need two fulminate ions to even out the charges. A quick Side note, there are certain transition metals that always tend towards one charge, such as scandium, which almost always has a plus 3 charge. In this case, a Roman numeral is not always required. These have all been examples of ionic bonds, or a bond between a metal and a non-metal. Look for molecular bonds in a future video. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next week.